Hello and welcome. It is Derek here again. In the last video, we went through how to import a Revit model into the Unity editor. And at the moment, if you press play in the editor, you will see a static camera angle without interaction. And if you want to change the angle, you will need to manually change the camera object in the scene view to see different places within the model. And to be honest, this is no fun. We want to have the ability to add interaction to make it more interesting. We can start with adding some character controls to allow you to navigate within the model. Now, luckily, Unity has provided two very good character controllers for us to use. One is the first person controller, and the second one is the third person controller. And they're all completely free to use. If you haven't done it yet, please create your Unity account in order to download and use this asset. I will leave the links of the two assets in the description below. Once you get the assets from the asset store, you can either open it directly from the browser or open it under package manager in the editor. Please make sure you have selected my assets in the top left corner and choose download then import it into the editor. When you import the assets into the project, you will be asked something like enabling the new input system. This is because the packages are using the new input system instead of the old one. Go ahead with it and it will finish loading in a while. Now, when you have imported the two assets into the project, you can take the model that you import from the Revit into the scene from the last video. You can now select our character controller from Starter Assets folder, First Person Controller or Third Person Controller, depending on which you want to use, and PFAP, then let's the Parent Unpack object, and drag it to the project hierarchy window. You now have a character controller in the scene. However, there is one more thing we need to do. The model from the Revit file is just meshes. It doesn't have any physical properties. We need to add some colliders in order to let your character to walk on it. A collider will add physics property and stop the character from falling. Representation of the collider is green in the scene view. So to make sure you have the collider in the mesh, look for the green wireframe in the scene view. Select the mesh that you want to add collider in the scene view. Go to the inspector window. If there is no inspector window in the editor, you can right click on any of the tab, then go to add tab inspector. At the bottom of the inspector window, click on the add button and type mesh collider and hit enter or click on it. It will add a mesh collider component into the game object, which you can see from the inspector window. Now, if you press play in the editor, you will be able to walk on top of the surface. You might notice you might need to select individual mesh and add the collider component one by one. And this is not very efficient. This is why I create a little helper, which gives me a little editor window and I can dock it anywhere I like. I can add multiple keys and values and when I click the button below, it will search all the objects with metadata in the scene, then look for the keys that I have put above and if it also contains a mesh, it will add a mesh collider. This way it will save me a lot of time. For example, if I want to add colliders on all the floors, it will do this for me and make sure I don't miss out anything. I have shared it on my GitHub. I put the link in the description below and it has instruction on how to import the package using the package manager. So we have gone through on how to add a character controller to your model and give you a more interactive experience. I've also shown you how to use that little helper window that I created and that allows you to add colliders onto the model based on the key and value that you put in there. This is what I've got for you today. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.